hi guys welcome back to another video so this is my first hit film tutorial video in this video i'm gonna show you how we can create a smooth zoom in and zoom out transition in hit film express like this okay so without any further ado let's create a new project and get started So first, import your video. So I will use these two videos. Okay, then make a composite shot. You can click composite shot right here, or you can right click on one of the videos that you're going to use. So just right click on it and click make composite shot. Just leave the setting as it is, then click OK and drag the other video inside this composite shot. Okay, then align your video. Sorry because the clips is a little bit shaky because I shot handheld so I'm gonna slow it down to 60% now it's better so the video will look like this. okay so I will apply the transition between these two videos in the middle of it okay so first let's do zoom in transition okay and I want the transition to last 12 seconds so I need to put the transition between these two videos so I need to divide 12 seconds by 2 okay so that will be 6 so I need to go back 6 frames and apply the transition from here okay so go to transform and keyframe the scale just set the value to 100 first and then go to the end of the first video and set the value of scale to 200 okay it will look like this then go to effects and search for perspective warp then drag it to the second video and keyframe the Z distortions from the beginning of the second video set the Z distortion to 2 then go for 6 frames and set the Z distortion value back to 1 okay and it's basically done as you can see the next step is optional so I will apply zoom blur effect to make it look more real okay so I will create a new grid layer Go to effects and search for zoom blur. Then drag it to the new grid layer. At the beginning of the transition, keyframe the strength and set the value to zero. Then in the middle of the transition, right here, set the value to 30 and at the end of the transition set the strength value back to zero okay so let me tell you this all of the numbers that I set in this video are optional so you can set it to however you want like this zoom blur 
you can set it to 25 or 20 and the same for the scale and Z distortion as well like the scale you can set it to 300 maybe or 400 and the Z distortion you can set it to 3 okay so it's up to you and now this video will look like this as you can see and the last step is we're gonna make the transition smoother so I'm going to use this value grab this value grab is definitely necessary so I will make a video about this value grab later for now just follow me okay so go to every keyframe that you apply let's start from this new grid go to the strings click on it and as you can see now you can click on the keyframes let me zoom in then click on this button right here and just drag it like this to make the transition smoother okay do it for every keyframe that you apply and it's done let me show you how it looks like okay it looks cool right so that was how to apply zoom in transition in hitfilm express next let's do zoom out transition so for zoom out transition you just need to do the entire process of zoom in transition in reverse but let me just show you i will import another video so i will just align it here Okay, so now you just need to do everything in reverse. Okay, so for the zoom in transition, you apply the perspective warp to the second clip right here. So for the zoom out transition, you need to apply the perspective warp to the first video. Okay, so this video will become first video and this one will become the second video. Okay, so I will apply perspective warp to the first video which is this one and for this transition I want the transition to last let's say I want it to last 14 seconds so I need to divide it by 2 okay so I will apply the first 7 frames to this video okay so I need to go back 7 frames and then keep from the Z distortion from one to two. Okay, it will look like this. And then apply the scale for the second clip, second video. Okay, from 200 to go for 7 frames and set the scale to back to 100. Okay, so you do everything in reverse and it will look like this. Okay, and it's done. You just need to apply the zoom blur and the value grab.
also uh, maybe when I click on this button everything will reset back to normal okay and it's done so let me play the video okay as you can see this is the final result okay, this is the zoom in transition and this zoom out transition as you can see so that was how to apply zoom in and zoom out transition to your video in hit film express and for your information you don't have to use perspective warp for every video you can use others effect like lens distortion for example or anything okay and remember don't overuse this transition because this will make your video looks boring just use it when you need it okay so that's it for this video I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video. Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have already. And I will see you guys in the next video.